Now I beheld in my dream that they had not journeyed far when the river divided and began to flow in two different directions. They were sorry to see it, for they dared not go out of the way. Now the way led away from the river and was rough, and their feet grew tender because of their travels. So the souls of the pilgrims became more and more discouraged because of the ruggedness of the way. Scripture And they journeyed from Mount Hor by the way of the Red Sea to go around the land of Edom, and the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the way. Numbers 21, verse 4 Still they went on and wished for a better way. A little ahead of them, to the left of the road stretched a fenced meadow accessed by a stile. That meadow is called Bypath Meadow. Christian said to Hopeful, If this meadow lies alongside our way, let's cross over into it. So he walked over to the stile to investigate and saw that a pathway on the other side of the fence seemed to run parallel with the way. It's exactly what I wished for. Christian pointed to the path on the other side of the fence. Here the going is much easier. Come on, Hopeful, let's cross over. But... Hopeful's mouth screwed to one side. What if this path should lead us out of the way? That's not likely, Christian said. Look, doesn't it run alongside our way, but just on the other side of the fence? So Christian's argument persuaded Hopeful and he followed him over the stile. Once they had crossed over and were walking on the parallel path, they found it much easier on their feet. Besides that, they spotted a man walking the path ahead of them. His name was Vain Confidence. They called after him and asked him where that way led. He said, To the Celestial Gate. Christian smiled at Hopeful. See, didn't I tell you so? With this advice, you can be sure we're going the right direction. So they followed vain confidence who went before them. But once night fell, it grew very dark. In fact, it was so dark they could no longer see the man walking before them.